All right, so now moving on from uh, finding the vertex and axes and all that for uh, normal uh, quadratic functions in standard form, now we're going to be looking at it in vertex form and uh, identifying it other ways. So first thing is vertex form. Now vertex, vertex form is nice because it uh, it puts it in a way so that you can easily identify where the vertex is. You don't have to do that negative uh, b over 2a. In this one, you just have to identify, okay, the h and the k, whatever are in those places, is your vertex. Okay, that is your vertex, h, k. And then your axis of symmetry is, again, x equals h. Okay, but the vertex form is y equals a parenthesis x minus h squared plus k. Okay, um, and that is the form, uh, that is called vertex form. And the, the key thing for it is uh, being able to identify where the vertex is without doing extra calculations. So looking at this one, if we want to identify what your vertex is, okay, so your vertex, your vertex will be at negative 1, negative 4. Okay. There's your vertex. Again, it's going to be uh, the opposite of that sign. So since it's plus 1, it's going to be minus 1, and then minus 4. Okay. And so that is your vertex form, and there is your vertex. And now your uh, axis of symmetry is going to be at x equals negative 1. Ta-da! We're done. And that is your vertex form. And uh, that's the key thing of identifying. And then from there you can do your graphing. Okay. Uh, to find the intercept, you'll plug in a 0 in for the x and see what you get, which would be uh, negative 2, I believe. So that means your uh, intercept will be at negative 2. Okay. So what you'll do is you'll start, okay, negative 2, and then you're at negative 1, negative 4. And so then it looks like your function's going to be somewhere around there. And as you see, there's my rough sketch. That's pretty spot on. Okay. So that's going to be a way to help you graph it. What you want to do is you want to identify uh, where the turning point is, or the vertex, and then find that y-intercept, and then from there, uh, you just go straight across onto the other side, and it's going to be the same distance uh, from the uh, y, or from the axis of symmetry. Okay, and that is going to be your uh, turning point and how to rough sketch these but once you find once you find where your vertex is so like we found it at negative one negative four what you can do is you can make a table and go okay I'm gonna move one point to one side so um, I'm gonna go negative two and find what negative two is and find what zero is so you don't have to find the intercept uh, but it is a nice way to be able to do that okay all right so now writing your equation so if you're given the vertex at uh, negative 1, 0, and you also know it hits the point negative 2, negative 2, what you're going to do is you're going to set up your vertex form. So you have y equals uh, a times x minus, and then actually it would be plus 1 squared uh, plus 0, but since it's 0 we can forget about it. So we have our function we have this function and now what we're going to do we're going to plug in negative 2 in for the x and 2 in for the y and then solve for a so we'll have 2 is equal to a parenthesis negative 2 plus 1 squared get you a negative 1 squared is equal to a 2 get you a equals 2 so that means our final function is going to be y equals 2 parenthesis x plus 1 squared. And there's our equation. So what you'll do is you'll plug in your vertex, and then your only variable that you have to find is a, so then you use that second point, plug those in for the x and y, solve for a. Alright, right, converting from standard form. So if you're in standard form, if you're in standard form and you want to go into vertex form, what you have to do is find the vert vert vertex, the vertex of this. So you'll use your negative b, negative 12, all over uh, 2 times negative 3, which would be negative 12 over negative 6, which would be 2. 
and then you plug a 2 in and you find what your vertex is, which you find it's at 217, 2 comma 17. And now here's the nice part with this. Instead of plugging another number in to find your a, your a value is the same as it is in the first one. So it'd be negative 3 x squared, or negative 3 x times x minus 2 squared plus 17. And there it is going from vertex or from standard form into vertex form. So you find the vertex, and then the A stays the same, and then you just plug it in. Pretty simple. Okay. All right. So your IRET for this one is uh, finding the vertex of the of this equation. Okay. So find where the vertex is, and uh, for the first one, pretty straightforward. You should be able to get that in about five seconds. And then the next one, write an equation uh, for the quadratic with the following two points. So I give you the two points. I give you the vertex, and I give you the other point that it touches. And what you're going to do is you're going to write the vertex form of it. So uh, I give you the vertex so you know what your h and k are, and then you just have to find the a value. So it's like what we did uh, a couple slides back, where you have to plug in that the second x and y values to see what you get for a. And then once you have that, you're all good. Okay.